Don't say no. No. Don't say no. Deep down in my heart, I'm ethnocentric, which means I think my race is the superior one. Oh, oh I have not say it. Oh, hey, no, let me finish. Hey, look. Let me finish. Hey, look. Hey, look. Let me so, finish. white is better than all. No, let me finish. Okay. Hey. I think everybody thinks that they're just not honest about it. Hey, I'm not racist though. I like all types of kinds. Did I say I don't like people? People only you think that. Wait, so you said you are what? You are racist. You're saying you're like you're I racist. I think everybody's a racist at at that level. No, you said you are you racist. racist. <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah, I'm trying to be honest. Yes, with you. No, I'm not saying it again. I've said it enough. So you're racist. I think I should like tell you to stop speaking. Yes, you Put your phone up. <laughs> I, I respect I'm, this. I'm I actually phone respect this for a while, but like, I'm now. Your phone up. I don't even got no more respect for you. Put it up. Yeah, sir. I don't think I got respect for him no more, bro. Mm -mm. You know, you should have more respect because I'm honest. A racist who understands the assignment. This one comes out of Pflugerville, Texas, just outside of Austin, 20 plus miles or so. Bowles Middle School, fourth grade classroom where this yet to be identified white supremacist is desperate for his students to understand just how racist he is. At one point, he even gets frustrated with them because they're 10 and they're not getting it. Oh, yeah. So you are a racist? Damn, how many times I gotta say it? <gasps> oh, really? cussing at me? No, I'm not cussing at anybody. Because he's just, black. I'm frustrated with this conversation. <laughs> that shit started. Uh, so you like started uh, you were racist. You asked him. Uh, you were talking to him. Get him he said, yes, I'm a racist. Yes. Hey. Somebody asked the question, I, I responded. <laughs> So once the kids got their answer, they decided to play with the teacher, the racist teacher, and they told him, you know what? You're transparent. We can be transparent too. We're getting ready to expose your whole life. Hey, hey. I'll be sure to put this on the internet. Hey, I hope you know I'm famous, so I'm gonna play on the internet. I'll be sure to put this on the internet. Yeah, you gotta do what you need to do. So one of the first things the kids did was run and tell their parents, and the one who stood up, the one kid, and said, hey, listen, I'm famous. Well, he is attached to fame. His father is a very well-known producer. He goes by the name Southside, um, also Sizzle, responsible for a lot of hits for stars like Future, other rappers. So he's he's big time. And the son goes by the name Baby Sizzle. They both took to Instagram, the father first. Here's what he had to say. He says he's raising his son to be strong, to voice his opinion no matter what, and that it hurts his heart, um, that he's truly at a loss for words, but he's going to stand up for his child and the other black and Spanish kings and queens. Now, Baby Sizzle says he's always been raised to respect his elders. He says, uh, my parents don't play about that at all. Yes, he thanks his mama, too, not just his daddy. Coke Bottle Nay is her handle. So the parents did their job. These kids are acting exactly how they'd want them to act when they're not in the room. They did their job. And you know what? Okay, Baby Sizzle had one moment where he'd had enough he said you know what can i get the pass okay, can I yeah. the yeah. <laughs> that's how 10 year olds talk but to me a plus if we're grading the kids here a plus <laughs> if you weren't what are you if you weren't you would not have just said you guys you guys you treat me the wrongest out of everybody because every, every time you would let these groups you let them go to me so yeah. when they're passing but when i need to go no, you can't go. Like, bro, that's racist. And guess what? They're all not in my skin color, so my skin So if I was racist, I wouldn't let you go to the restroom, would I? But you don't want him in your room. But what about the school district? Well, they emailed me. The school district sent me a statement. This video first surfaced on Friday. And they immediately put out a statement. They yanked the teacher out of the classroom, put him on administrative leave. What that means is the teacher gets paid as they investigate. We'll get to their investigation, but he's collecting a check in the meantime. That's what that statement meant. But never mind that. The initial statement by the school, it lacked all teeth. Uh, frankly, it was not rooted in reality. And here's why. The superintendent, Douglas Killian, never uses the word racist, never uses the words white supremacist. Nowhere is that found in the statement. Instead, he uses substitutes like inappropriate, inaccurate, and unacceptable. Unacceptable is when I eat the last Krispy Kreme donut and you don't even know they've been delivered. It's probably a little inappropriate too, but that's not racism. 
Racism is not background noise. Racism is not wallpaper. And when people don't want to say it and call it what it is, he told you who he is. I don't know why if the man's earned it, you can't just afford him the title. He's trying to think up something to say. You don't know me at all. You can't put words in my mouth. Just let me finish. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to explain to you something that I've learned in my life. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, the school district did redeem themselves with this super fast investigation. Remember, Friday to Monday, and now we have a conclusion. The racist teacher is fired. So they did a incredibly fast investigation. This wasn't a, a Kanye, Adidas, let's have a two week cooling off period before we make a decision. They said, you're out of here. And that we can applaud because what it means is, even if it's just down in Texas, this, this one district or, or one school, or even if it's just this one classroom, what it means is the cost of racist business, it, it just ticked up a little bit. That's what it means. No, it's not inflation like we're facing, but the cost of being a racist ticked up a little bit, okay? You may disagree with me on that, but that's my take. I'm Sharon Reed. You can catch me at Sharon Reed Live on all platforms. I'll see you next time.